everyone, welcome to my first week postpartum video. So what we're gonna do is we're just, I'm just kind of nearing the end of the first week postpartum. So I'm gonna show you some simple exercises as well as some of the tips that I've been doing um, to just kind of help my uterus shrink and keep everything warm and going. So one of the first things that I like to do is I don't like to completely belly wrap. Um, what I find is that that affects the digestive system, especially with all your internal organs reshifting and removing, especially after baby has come up. So what I like to do is, what I use is, um, my sister had actually gifted me, these ones are from Serafina. Um, they are like high-waisted underwear, where basically it just kind of keeps the womb area nice and warm, as well as it provides some just gentle support. So you can see like the belly is still quite there uh, for first week postpartum. Uh, but this is where it just kind of helps keep the womb nice and warm. And that's one of the things that you want to make sure that you're doing is just kind of either wrap like a nice warm cloth around you so that way you're getting that extra support. And another reason why I haven't been like fully belly wrapping or like using like one of those waist trainers is because what I have in the past for my previous pregnancies is that I find that it doesn't help my back support or it doesn't help my core and my back, my lower back, start to re-engage and use all the muscles that it should be, where that is a great support if your core and your lower back is very weak. Initially, you can use that as a support to kind of just help pull everything in, but in the long term, you want your body to be doing that work and helping itself to restore itself. So that's kind of one of the main things. So now we're just gonna be coming down onto the mat and doing these exercises um, on a mat. I like to do it on my yoga mat on a slightly harder surface. Otherwise, these are all perfect to be doing from the comfort of your bed. Um, because in the first week, you may not be wanting to be getting out of bed too much. So it's great where some of the breathing exercises you can do with baby on top of your chest and your belly, or you can do it just with baby lying beside you while baby is sleeping or resting. And that's kind of what I'm doing is I just put him down for a quick nap and I'm just doing the exercises during that time. But with the breathing exercises, I love to also do them with baby on my chest while I'm lying flat on my back um, or at a slight incline. Because one of the things is when you are breathing deeply and filling up your belly and making like those deep breathing sounds, your baby is also hearing that, feeling that, and that is something that is so soothing for them as well too. So this is a great way to also be doing some skin to skin with your little one and to be doing some breathing exercises. So the first one um, that we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and lie down onto our backs. So I always recommend, um, depending on where you're doing this, you can keep your knees nice and bent um, for that, you can place a pillow or again, if you're on your bed, you can do this um, on your bed. So this first one is called an open book. So you're basically going to be putting one arm here, bring the other arm, just reaching over, nice and gentle, opening up, coming to the other side, and then changing sides. And this is something that you can do on either side, kind of just continuing as you shift your body, just kind of helping stretch your arms, opening up your arms nice and wide. So just kind of opening and closing those arms nice and gentle. Another great one that I love that you haven't typically been able to do during pregnancy are twists. So with your uterus contracting and you getting those cramps and those um, aches and pains in your belly area, this is a great one. We're opening up your arms to a T dropping your knees over to one side, dropping your gaze over to the other side, and just keeping your shoulders onto the ground. So then changing, so you can hold each side for five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever feels good. So dropping your knees to one side, gaze over to the other side, keeping those shoulders nice and relaxed on the ground just opening up the body. This is great to help with, again, those stomach cramps and just kind of getting the uterus contracting. And if you're finding that any of these poses are painful or they're too much at this stage, please stop. Listen to your body and follow what is your body is telling you. When you're ready to come out, again, when you're ready to come up, 
always roll over to the side. So now we can roll over to our right side and just slowly lift your body up, coming up as slowly as possible. So that's one of the things that you wanna be mindful of is coming up as slowly as you can. You wanna make sure that you're listening to your body, you're going as smoothly and slowly as possible. So I'll show you the next exercise. So with this next exercise, I'm gonna be taking a pillow and placing that under my hips. I'm gonna be just gently lowering down. And we're gonna be focusing on some diaphragmatic breathing. So you can place your hands on your belly, inhale, filling up the belly. As you exhale, tilting your pelvis in, pulling your belly button towards your spine. Inhale, tilting your pelvis forward, filling up that belly. Exhale, tilting your pelvis in, pulling that belly button and your lower back towards the ground. Just continuing this. You can continue this for about 10 or 20 deep breaths. This just kind of helps get that core re-engaged. It's beautiful. You want to make sure you're Head, your neck, your shoulders are all nice and relaxed, keeping your jaw nice and relaxed. Just focusing on your breath. This also helps with moving your organs back into the correct locations, focusing on your breath, being mindful. You can inhale through your nose. If you're doing ujjayi breathing, you can exhale again through your nose with your throat constricted. Otherwise, you can always exhale through your mouth, listening to your body, doing what's best. So this is a great one to be doing whether you are postpartum or not. Um, as your baby gets older, you can always let your baby rest on your thighs, um, facing you. You can let your baby rest on your chest, whatever is comfortable for you. If baby is a little fussy and you wanted to kind of do some breathing exercises with them, this is a great one to be doing. So just continuing on to do that a few more times, just following your own breath and pace. And then the next one that we're gonna do is we're gonna pull our belly button towards our spine again. You're gonna lift up one knee and we're just gonna do gentle toe taps or just gentle marching where you're gonna go up. You can come up to 90 degrees, but if that's too much for you, just come up even a little bit and just keeping your belly button pulled in towards your spine, your lower back pressed against the pillow or the mat. And that's where the pillow kind of helps Tilt your pelvis automatically inwards, um, so that way you're automatically engaging it, but again, focusing on your breath. So as you bring up your knee, just a gentle exhale, inhale, exhale, bring it in, pull it in, inhale, down. Again, going at your own breath and pace, just listening to your body, doing as much as you're able to. So I would start with even, 10 to 20 on each side, and then not pushing yourself for the first week, just kind of going gently paced. And then as your body gets stronger, as your body starts warming up a little more, you can continue on. So again, you wanna just make sure you're mindful of keeping that core engaged. And this is where these gentle exercises help strengthen the core and help build up that muscle mass again. And just, you wanna focus on your internals. Okay. Once you're done, you can leave the pillow where it is. Um, and we're just gonna, again, just gently roll over. We're gonna come up onto our hands and our knees. So if you have the pillow, you can leave the pillow under your knees just as a little extra cushioning, depending on where you are. Coming into a neutral spine, we're gonna do some inhales and exhales. 
So toes, you can either curl them under for additional balance or you can stay on the tops of your feet. Engaging your body, keeping it nice and neutral. Inhale, dropping your belly, curving your spine, gaze up. Exhale, rounding your spine, gaze towards your belly button. Inhale, dropping your belly, gaze up. Exhale, rounding your spine. Just continuing on at your own breath and pace, going nice and slow. This is great for just kind of moving the spine because as moms, regardless if you are breastfeeding or if you are formula feeding, with the new baby, you're typically hunched over, focusing on baby and not always focusing on posture and how your body is. So this is a great one to just kind of help relieve some of the back aches that you might be feeling and just kind of getting everything moving. So again, you can do this about 10 or 20 times as much as it's comfortable for you. Then go ahead and move your hands slightly forward. We're gonna move our hips a little forward and we're just gonna do gentle circles with our hips going in one direction and then changing directions, going the other way. Just listening to your body. Again, whatever is comfortable for you. Keeping your gaze just in front of your hands. Slowly coming back to table, bringing your hands back directly under your shoulders. And we're gonna just do some more diaphragmatic breathing. So we're gonna come in here, stay here, Inhale, expand that belly out. Exhale, pulling the belly button in. So here you can keep your gaze almost between your legs, so letting your head and your neck relax. Inhale, expand that belly. Exhale, pulling it in and up. Inhale, dropping the belly. Exhale, pulling it in and up. So your back is not moving. You're gonna keep your back pretty much in that neutral position. Inhale, dropping the belly. Exhale, pulling it up and in. And this is a great one to start with engaging the core as well too, where you're not using gravity as much um, for where when you're on your back, your belly easily is able to be pulled in where here you're having to use a little bit more muscle power to be pulling that core in and up. So again, whatever is comfortable for you, start with five, start with 10, and maybe work your way up over the week or over the next couple weeks up to 20. You're not gonna have much time, so this is where you can just pop in these quick exercises and breath work whenever you get a chance to. So the next one we're going to be coming up, we've done, we're gonna be coming back here and I just want you to sit in a comfortable position. And we're gonna just do some belly breathing. So this is a great one. Again, if you're able to sit in a cross-legged position, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, find what's comfortable for you. So if you have something to lean back against, you can do that. You can keep your knees slightly up because depending on how your stitches are, if you've had a C-section, um, if you've had a tear, an episiotomy, anything, it may be a little bit sore and uncomfortable. And that's where, again, if you are going to be on the ground, have that pillow underneath you or do these exercises on your bed. But right now I'm okay with sitting cross-legged. Um, I'm not gonna be sitting in um, butterfly pose where my feet would be together and my knees would be spread because that will be a little bit sore for me. But basically, I'm just gonna sit here, sit up nice and tall. You can close your eyes if you'd like to, and we're just gonna focus on belly breathing. So this is one where you can either sit up nice and tall and make sure your shoulders are rolled back and your posture is good and your shoulder blades are tight. Just inhale, expanding the belly. Exhale, again, pulling it in. And this is great where, again, diaphragmatic breathing is very helpful, especially postpartum, with helping your organs just 
kind of shift back into place and it's not going to happen overnight um, one of the things that ha I have read about is that it typically takes about a year for everything to shift back into place so be mindful of that take your time don't push yourself too much everybody is different um, and just doing these exercises as well just gentle movement and some gentle walking this will also kind of help your bowel movements kind of come back to um, regulation as well too so lots of fluids um, is another thing you can have like some dried fruits um, prune juice anything that will also kind of help things moving um, so those are just some recommendations as well diet wise so just kind of focusing on the belly again inhale exhale if you're wanting to lean back again this is also great And this is great, like if you have baby, just placing baby on your chest and just doing the deep breathing with baby. This is an amazing one for that, where you can do these exercises so easily, just trying to fit them in and being mindful of your breath work. And that will be such a soothing, calming environment as well for baby too. So I hope you guys have enjoyed these week one exercises. Uh, week two will be posting. I will be sharing um, once I kind of near the end of my week two and We'll continue these every week for the next six weeks as my belly continues to change and as I start integrating a little bit more exercise into my daily routine and I will also be posting another video on some of the products that I've been using postpartum um, that I have been using basically since the birth of my baby and how I've been using each of those and what the benefits have been for those. So those you can definitely buy and purchase in advance. I will be having links in the description below for each of those products um, because this is our fourth and last little one. And um, we've basically streamlined everything that we've purchased or used through all of the pregnancies. Um, to minimize it as much as possible to the basics and what we actually use. So I hope you find that video helpful as well. I'll link that above. So go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you next week. Thanks.